We started our day with a stroll along Seafoon Promenade beside Warberry Fulkers. For a scenic coffee break or lunch, walk up to the fascinating Theresen. You will definitely fall in love with the amazing views from the terrace. Our next stop is Fasting Svadi. Badat is a pier extended into the sea with sun decks and bathing areas. We particularly enjoyed the view from the deck towards Warberry Fortress. Warberry Kalbat whose pier is just a stone's throw away. Beautiful Moorish style architecture standing in crystal clear waters makes it an Instagram worthy spot. The shallow sandy beach besides the pier is excellent for a swim during warm days. Our girls had lots of fun running up and down the pier. A clear blue sunny day is exactly what you need to be on this beautiful beach. The kids had real fun time on the beach playing with the waves and chasing away the two waves. Next, we decided to walk towards the city center through the Society Sparkin. The park has an event venue and a restaurant with interesting architecture. We enjoyed our stroll along the park with flowers blooming on the pathway. I would love to have some ice cream on a warm sunny day. Crossing the railway track, we enter into English Park. The park is filled with some very interesting sculptures. One can only look and wonder what these sculptures are depicting. Sculptures definitely succeeded in steering our imagination. As we reached the city center, we found the center to be an open-air art gallery. Just walking by you will spot many sculptures around. The kids interacted with one of the sculptures which was also a water fountain. Walking towards Barberry Story Square, you will find the streets lined with cafes, shops and restaurants. You will definitely admire the beautiful white church on the square. During the 
summer months, the square is filled with live music, food stalls and amusement areas for kids. But today was particularly a calm day on the square. When hungry, try the unique Swedish kebab pizza and kebab salvik for lunch. After a long day, it was time to head back. Way back, we found this ghost theme playground for kids. The kids really enjoyed the time here. It's a must visit park if you have kids. Finally, this ends our first long day in Warbury. We spent our second day in Warbury visiting the medieval Warbury fortress. The fortress was built in 13th century in order to defend against Danish attacks. With its mighty walls and large bastion, the fortress stands tall between the city center and the seashore. As we entered the fortification, we were surprised to find that the fortress still houses a residential area within its walls. Strolling around the colorful residential area filled with blooming flower gardens. Next, we walked up to the bastion crossing several archways while admiring the medieval architecture of the fortress. Fortress is a must-do attraction if you are visiting Marbury. One should not miss walking above the walls of the fortress or the views of the city on one side and amazing panoramic views of the sea on the other side. Overall, we really enjoyed the fortress architecture and beautiful views while walking its walls. It was definitely a highlight of our trip to Warbury.